You know, the story of this year again on Lake Sakakawea is high water, but the other story that keeps repeating itself like a broken record, just how high the fish numbers are. I mean, last, I would say the last four years especially, Lake Sakakawea has probably been one of the hottest walleye fisheries in the Midwest, and that's saying a lot. You know, we're down here this week pre-fishing for the Van Hook Classic. Every time you come out here in June, Van Hook Arm, Lake Sakakawea, you just anticipate great fishing. What I love about Sakakawea is just the, the number of fish and the ability to catch really nice fish, you know, just about every time you go out here. You know, Lake Sakakawea's big water basically starts, you know, at the Garrison Dam and it almost goes all the way to Williston, especially with high water that we have right now. You know, it's a big body of water, but the spots can be small and a lot of times it fishes small in the sense that you know you'll just find walleye just piled on a you know the tip of a point or maybe an inside cup along a shoreline or maybe just a small little hump that comes up and so you know especially early in the year you know these fish will push back up into some of these bays where the water warms up bottom bouncers can be so effective because you can cover water and when you let out line on a bottom bouncer you're always keeping that presentation somewhat close to the bottom and that's usually where you're going to find these fish there, oh yeah, this might be a good fish here. I'm just gonna slow us down here and turn us a little bit. Bending the rod nice. <laughs> These fish fight so hard because they're just, they're just so healthy. Come on up. Oh, that's a nice fish. Oh, yeah. Whoa! <laughs> a strong fish. Whoa. Keep her pinned up here. Boy, she does not like this boat. Oh, yeah. Got her? All right. Keep her right in the water there. We'll hook her right there. That is a nice walleye wow <laughs> oh my look at that that is a nice wall i bet that's a 28 and a half inch walleye right there that is just great i'm gonna get pliers here that is a that is what we're looking for the butterfly blade strikes just deadly technique get her in the water that is a Sakakawea walleye right there. Wow, what a way to start, huh? <laughs> that was nice. <laughs> Only on Lake Sakakawea, first fish, wham! That was cool. Jason Mitchell Outdoors is brought to you by these industry leaders. You've waited all winter for this. We can't wait either. You can't choose the weather, but you can choose to dress for it. Introducing Blackfish Performance Rain Gear. Utilizing patented event technology, this advanced membrane allows body heat and vapors to escape while offering 100% waterproof protection with an exceptional combination of waterproof and breathability ratings. Blackfish Rain Gear keeps you dry all day. Whether on the tournament trail or chasing weekend walleyes, choose Blackfish because you can't choose the weather. From the makers of the legendary Salmo Hornet, meet the new Salmo Freediver 9. Capable of reaching depths over 25 feet, the Freediver has set the new standard for deep diving walleye crankbaits. See that Freediver, that fish just, just mugged that bait. Individually handcrafted, tank tested, and tuned by Salmo artisans, Every Salmo lure produces perfect action every time. Catch more fish with a new Salmo Freediver 9. Every day, it is you against the fish. From the fish hawk and pro tiller to the bass hawk and raptor. 
Crestliner's entire fleet is designed to maximize your pleasure and performance on the water. Handcrafted, continuously welded seams combined with high-grade heavy-gauge aluminum lead the industry with unbeatable engineering, strength, and durability. Crestliner has been catching fish for over 70 years. Crestliner, forged with strength, defined by durability. So we're taking the end of the crawler and we're putting the, tip, the hook in the tip of the crawler, threading it on. And we're making sure that when we get that crawler, we go up to about the collar and we're pulling the tip of that crawler up over the top of that knot so it kind of locks it into place and running that hook out so it comes out the collar and pinching it off about an inch below. Oh, there's a fish. All right. Look like a good fish, Matt. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm going to slow us down here a little bit. Yeah, it's a pretty decent fish. All right. Yeah, I'm going to slow us down even more. I'll scoop her up here for you. There we go. Hey, oh, nice. 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 There, we're going to show off your prize there. I'm going to straighten us out here. That one was about 10 feet of water. Should we eat that one? That's a good eater. Yeah. You know, so I love coming down here. You know, I've been coming down here for the last few years. Partner and I, we, you know, we get to fish together where we don't ever hardly get to see each other anymore. And I just come down here for a week and just fish hard. I mean, I get up, you know, at sunrise and I fish till dark and you know, we fry up some fish, we eat some deer sausage, and, and it's just a tremendous time. Get some work done, shoot some videos, shoot some photos. But, uh, you know, since I grew up fishing this area, you know, it's always a treat to come back here. And, and obviously, Lake Sakakawea can cycle. The lows are low, but the highs are high. And right now, we're riding on that high. I mean, it's, it's some of the best fishing we've ever seen on this reservoir. And when you look at the entire country, it's truly some of the best fishing in the Midwest and the nation right now. If you like to catch walleyes, you catch lots of walleyes and you can catch big walleyes. There's not many places where you can do both. Oh, there's a fish. All right, how does it feel? It feels pretty good. <laughs> All right. I just love how these fish fight. Let me know when you get close. It's I'll come coming. up and scoop them here. Bulldogging pretty good. Here's the bottom bouncer. Okay, get back here. Oh yeah, nice walleye. Oh, got a stretch, but we got her. Ha <laughs> ha, nice, nice. What a fishery. Need pliers there? Or? Nope. Right, right in the corner of the mouth, right where it's supposed to be. Oh, I'll we get need, that out of your way. We need that later. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to be on Sakaka without a net. <laughs> Popped right out. All right. Gorgeous boy. They're just, aren't they just, look at the build on them. There's thick shoulders on these fish. Oh, that never gets old. No, no it sure don't. Boy, when they slam those rods back, they go, don't they? No doubt you got a fish. <laughs> it's no, I think I might have one. <laughs> you know. It's there, and you, you know, know it. You know you have one, you know you got a big one. Nobody around us, this is nice. So if you do a lot of bottom balancer fishing, one reel that you're gonna love that just came out new from Shields is a low profile bait casting reel with a line counter. And the beauty about this is, especially if you're running a contour where you're staying in one depth and not holding the rod, you got rods in the rod holder, running multiple rods, 
is that you know how many feet of line to let out. So right now we're fishing in 10 feet of water. So I'm letting out the front rods in about a little over 20 feet, about 22, 23 feet of line. I'm letting out the back rods at 30 feet. So if you're guiding, if you're taking kids out or just people that don't get to fish very often, you can tell people exactly how many feet of line to let out. So it's just a real convenient tool to have, especially if you're following a contour and you're staying in one general depth, line counter is gonna make your world a lot easier. Oh yeah, there's a nice fish. Go ahead and turn us real quick with the real molecule. Nice fish. What do we got here? Oh yeah, walleye. There we go. All right. Thank you, sir. Here, just hand it right on over here. I'll unhook her. There we go. But yeah, we're still using those butterfly rigs. It's kind of an in between between a traditional live bait rig and a spinner harness. And that water temperature is still cool. That right there, just deadly. Nice walleye. There she goes. So I'm just gonna hit a waypoint here. And we're just gonna keep looking around. That's the thing about this, you know, we haven't even turned around on fish, we haven't gone back over them. We're just hitting new spots and catching a fair amount of fish. You know, that just tells you how good this fishing is out here. When you come in at the end of the day, The fish cleaning facility always has a line of boats parked there. Everybody's catching fish. Not only is everybody catching fish, Jason, they're catching them in many different methods of fishing too. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. You know, they're not just trolling baits like we are a lot of trolling tr crankbaits. You know, we're seeing some people pitching up onto the under the sandbars. Yeah, people are live bait points. rigging. I mean, you can fish the offshore humps, the reefs, the shorelines, the points. You can catch fish shallow, you can catch fish deep. You can catch walleyes all over out here. It really is uh, special. You know, and I've lived in Devil's Lake for 20 years, you know, but when I grew up as a kid, you know, I grew up fishing on Lake Sakakawea. So to come back here, this has always been home, you know, where I always come back here and this is a special place for me. Typically when you are fishing in the Dakotas, you know, especially on Lake Sakakawea, wind is gonna be a factor and wind can really help you catch fish. You know, obviously you can have really strong winds and six foot swells where it can be really difficult to get around and, and travel any distance. But when you have wind blowing up on this structure, wind blowing up on these points, you know, a lot of times that's where we're catching fish. A lot of times we're following the wind or bare minimum fish yesterday's wind. We start off this morning on a wind blowing shoreline from yesterday's wind and we got into fish almost right away. Fishing those windblown shorelines can definitely be an asset to when you're going out. The previous day's wind is definitely going to be some place where you want to look at starting for the next day. Oh, this is a good fish, Jason. All right. Big fish, big fish. Okay. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, that's what we're looking for right there. Oh, wow. Nice walleye. Whoa. Whoa. You did not like that boat. No. I might even have to slow her down here. That is a big one there. Oh, come here, come here, come here. We got her. Oh, yes. wow. Wow. Just inhaled that bait. Oh, not bad. It was just All down right. in his mouth. Whoa, <laughs> that's a walleye. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you come to Sakakawea for. Oh, just a beautiful fish. All Let's right. get this thing back. Yeah, get her in the water there. Wow, that's a, that's a great fish. These are just big walleyes. And she's gone. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs>
that'll put a smile on your face. <laughs> those rods just bend over when those big fish hit. It just, oh, love it. Let's get some more. Yeah. You know, and basically what we're doing is we're just running these shallow flats. You know, we're keeping the boat anywhere from eight to 12 feet of water. And you know, basically looking for little, you know, little points and stuff that stick off the shoreline. You know, these fish run up the river, you know, up by Newtown and White Earth in the spring. And I think what happens is they come back after they get done spawning and they come up and they fill up this arm because it's just shallower and warmer than a lot of other places. And so I think a lot of times these fish will just come up and they just soak up the sunshine just trying to warm up. Water temperature is just starting to creep into the low 60s. Right here, right here. How's it feel? There you go. Feels pretty good. All right, I'm gonna hit a waypoint here. Oh yeah, here, let me get the net out here. Oh, she's digging pretty hard. <laughs> so it makes it fun. Oh yeah, gorgeous walleye. Oh yeah. <laughs> we gotta start catching some smaller fish so we can eat tonight. <laughs> Go ahead and take her out here. I'm gonna keep steering the boat here. Nice. Nice fish. Yeah. Never gets old. Okay, go ahead and throw her in the live well. We better eat that one. General rule of thumb when you are fishing live bait, pulling a bottom bouncer, is you want to go roughly one ounce for every 10 feet of depth that you're fishing. So if you're fishing 10 feet, you want to be in that one ounce range. If you're fishing 30 feet, you want to be with three ounce weights. They're just a great way to present their baits and, and not as fast as moving with a crankbait, but fast enough to cover water. Oh, oh right here, right here. Got another one. All right. All right. Looks like a nice one too. Oh yeah, look at here. Oh yeah, nice walleye. That's a nice looking fish. Yeah, I'm gonna try to steer him right up, right up on this other side here. I'll bring him right up to you. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> these are just gorgeous. All right. All right. Looks like another supper fish. That is supper. <laughs> Dinner is served. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah. That's a good fish, Matt. Get her up here, boy. Here she comes. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's, a, that's a good fish. I'm gonna bring him right up this corner here. Boy, that's a tank. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Not quite ready. Oh yeah, that's a beautiful walleye. <laughs> here, go ahead and keep her right in the water here, I'll unhook her. That is a gorgeous walleye right there. There she's flaring. <laughs> that is a Sakakawea walleye. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Beautiful. I'm just gonna put her in the water right away. Look how long that fish is. That's just a tank of a walleye. Boy, she took off. You know, and the whole deal is, is later on in the summer, this water's gonna warm up. We're gonna be pulling a lot more spinner harnesses. But right now, this water's still cool. And so, 
basically what this is, this butterfly blade, just more of a subtle presentation. You just see here, just a couple beads in the blade. And we're just putting either a full crawler or a half crawler on it behind a bottom bouncer. Using pretty long snell seems to be the program here right now, but you can turn, you can go at slower speeds, and these will just keep turning at a lot slower speed. And so that's the beauty of it. When you're trying to stay on one depth on one contour, what I like about having all the rods in the rod holders is the fish just hook themselves, but also I get to the rod quicker. Because invariably, if I'm holding this rod over here, that rod behind me gets bit and I have to put this rod down, either put it in a rod holder or put it somewhere where it doesn't flop out of the boat on a snag and then grab onto the fish. Where I find if I don't hold any of the rods, I'm a lot quicker to get to the rod. And so basically the rod pounds in the rod holder, the fish is hooked, I just lift the rod up, I don't even have to set the hook or nothing, I just keep the rod bent. And you know, a lot of times with fishing, the more simpler you can make something, the more efficient and effective you can become. There he's there. There you go, there you go. <laughs> How's he feel? Feels really good. Ooh, he's got some really good head shakes. I'm just gonna keep his pointed straight. All right, don't shake off. Oh yeah, another nice walleye. Ooh, wow. <laughs> oh, I love it out here. <laughs> It's like Jurassic Park for walleyes. Oh, these are just gorgeous fish. Look at that. Oh, there's another big walleye. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> what can you say? Van Hook arm, baby. <laughs> that is a nice walleye. Need the pliers? Yeah. Show her off here and we'll get her unhooked. Here's the pliers here. Here. What can I do to help you here? I'll hold his mouth open if you can get in there. There we go. That was fun. That was nice. Let you go home now. We might get chased off with a storm here. This wind's picking up, temperature's dropping. We got a cloud bank coming in behind us here. Looks like there's some weather moving in, but what a what an incredible day of fishing. That's what dreams are made of. <laughs> oh yeah, big walleyes. 